uh, in the fourth quarter, you're one of nine. Um, what were you seeing in the fourth quarter offensively and kind of what led to your struggles? <sighs> Boldy not going. Simple as that. Um, got to my spot. Um, you know, I wasn't able to make uh, shots. That's pretty much it. You know, if, if I'd made the shots, it'd be a different case. Um, and then at the free throw line, 10 of 23 tonight. Um, we haven't seen you struggle like that from the free throw line in a long time. Just what was going on at the line for you tonight? Same. Didn't win it. Same routine. Shot the ball. Um, and just miss. You know, some days you make it, some days you miss. Um, today was one of those days. I just asked Bud the exact same question, but uh, I'm curious for you. Do you view this season as a failure? Oh my God! Uh, okay, because I'm not that. Up. We, you asked me the same question last year, Eric. Okay, uh, do you get do you get a promotion every year on your job? No, right? So every year you work is a failure. Yes or no? No. Every every year you work, you work towards something, towards a goal, right? Which is to get a promotion, to be able to uh, take care of your family, to be able I don't know. Um, provide the house for them or take care of your parents. You work towards a goal. It's not a failure. It's steps to success. You know, and if you've never, I don't know, I don't want to, I don't want to make it personal. So, there's always steps to it. You know, um, Michael Jordan played 15 years, won six championship. The other nine years was a failure? That's what you're telling me. No, I'm asking you a question. Yes or no? Okay, exactly. So why are you asking me that question? It's a wrong question. There's no failure in sports. You know, there's good days, bad days. Some days, some days you are able to uh, be successful, some days you're not. Some days it's your turn, some days it's not your turn. And that's what sports is about. You don't always win. Some other, other people is going to win. And this year, somebody else is going to win. Similar as that. We're going to come back next year, try to be better, try to build good habits, try to uh, play better, not have a 10-day stretch with uh, playing bad basketball. You know, and hopefully we can win a championship. So 50 years from 1971 to 2021 that we didn't win a championship, it was 50 years of failures. No, it was not. It was steps to it, you know, and we were able to win one. Hopefully we can win another one. You know, I, sorry that I didn't want to make it personal because you asked me the same question last year, and uh, last year I was in the, in the uh, right um, mind space to answer the question back, but I remember it. Next. Do you guys feel you? Do you think you made enough adjustments over Jimmy uh, no, over the stretch didn't. this year? We didn't. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Um, I think Drew did his best, man. But at the end of the day, like he gets tired. You know, he got to he got to rebound the ball. He got to pass the ball. He got to score the ball. He got to guard Jimmy. Like you get tired. You know, um, maybe we could have done some. Um, I don't know. Maybe double teaming more. Try to make him pass the ball. Um, maybe um, I don't know. Switch the matchup for a little bit. Give uh, Drew a break, two three minutes. Um, but I don't think as a team we we made uh, the right, or we didn't make as many as adjustments as we as we could against him. I know you don't love talking about injuries in yourself, but kind of what can you give us? A, you know, this is the first time we talked to you since you've been on the floor with the back injury. How would you been? Have you been dealing with these couple of games, and how? What did it take for you to play? It, it, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. It's over. The last the series is over. It doesn't matter. It do what? It doesn't matter. Next question. This was the second straight game where y'all had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter, and then they made a pretty big comeback. Just what was it that went wrong for y'all in the fourth quarter? Two straight games. Or just, was it just a matter of missing shots, um, or what was? Missed shots, momentum. They made shots. Um, you know, um, tough buckets. Jimmy made tough buckets. Got to cre give credit to him. Um, and we just did not score. Uh, I think we, it was three, four minutes stretch that we did not score the ball uh, and just give them uh, momentum and give them confidence to come back to the game. I think 
we did that. We did that this game. We did it last game. And they took advantage of it. They're a team that they don't stop playing. They go and keep coming and uh, keep moving the ball uh, and try to find the open man. Uh, and that's what they did. They was able to come back both games and uh, win the game. Giannis, obviously it happened so quick, but you obviously you're frustrated and for good reason. What not do you, frustrated. You're not frustrated? Okay. So what do you do from here? Where do you go from here? How do you refresh? How do you reload? How do you do more steps to the success in the um, process? It's it's a it's a thing that we've been doing since we were kids. You know, we just got to get in the gym. You know, think about it all summer. Uh, it's you know I don't know a lot of people handle it different than me and just kind of try to escape it, or do something else, and it's it's okay. You know, everybody cope uh, differently with uh, when they lose, but for me, I just remember it. Don't want to be this situation again, but it's basketball. Probably I'm going to be the situation again. Uh, but hopefully, um, when I'm in this situation, I can navigate it better. Can help my team be successful. Um, get in the gym. Got to get better. Got to get better. I got to help my team more. Um, got to stay healthy. Work on my body. Uh, and hopefully, I can come back next year and be better for my team. James. Hey, Giannis. Um, would you have if when you were available to play and, and be out there. Would you have liked to have defended Jimmy more one-on-one? -on -one? Yes. Um, how, I, re, I mean, I realize it's Drew. Um, how, how do you go about that? Like, is that something that you just let Bud decide that? Or could you have called for a number? You know what I mean? It, within the structure of the defense, could you have called for yourself to defend him? Um, no, out of respect, you got you to gotta let the coach you know, make the adjustment, and uh, we have our best defender on him. Uh, but obviously this conversation with Drew, uh, whenever he gets tired, I can, you know, take him. But um, he's so competitive, uh, plays so hard, uh, and he wanted to take the challenge. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, I, I, wish I, could, uh, I wish I could guard him more, for sure. On, on a broader level, I don't know if we'll see you here in the next few days or not, but what is what has Chris meant to you? I know he's got some decisions to make this summer. Um, so just in terms of as a, as a teammate, as a, as a guy running with you for the last decade, and I'm guessing you would like him back if that. Um, shit, I've, I've, I've won a championship with that guy. Uh, played a lot of tough games. We've won a lot of games. We've lost a lot of games. Um, he's been by my side for ten years now. You know, it's always good. You know, it's always good to go out there and uh, you know battle with that guy because you know he never gives up. Uh, he's always going to give everything for the team. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, I, I don't know exactly what the situation is, and I try to stay away from that and just focus in basketball. <laughs> But from what I understand, what is it? Uh, player option, team option. Right. He got to do whatever is best for him and his family. You know, um, got to do whatever is best for him and his family. I don't think he has anything to prove to anybody. Um, I would definitely want him to be my teammate for the next ten years and win another championship with him. But uh, I understand that uh, he has to do whatever is best for him and his family. Uh, Giannis, you've articulated your feelings extremely well. What would you? How would you describe the mood in that locker room? Five games, the series is over. The season is over. Um, I just, I feel like everybody was in shock in the locker room. Obviously, um, there's a lot of um, winners in there. Um, a lot of players that have played in great teams, uh, high level players. And for me, uh, I think this has been the worst post postseason ever. I don't think, you know, like you know, we have a number in there, and like like every other team has a number that says uh, 16, 15, 14, and this is the f like we was, we were stuck at 15. I don't think we've ever, as long as I've been in the playoffs, be stuck in. Maybe I, you know, we lost in the first round, but not stuck at 15. 
you know, which is kind of hard to deal with. Uh, but at the end of the day, I feel like they were playing to beat us, and we were playing to win the championship, which I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Like um, you could see, they were playing with so much energy, um, so much passion. We we're playing together, tough, making it tough for us. Um, I think we just we we're just a little bit ahead of ourselves. To be honest with you, uh, but at the end of the day, it's basketball. We give them credit; they kicked our butts. Got to feel it. You know, two years ago we we swept them for zero. They felt it for the whole summer. Came back; they were better. They finished number one in the East. They were doing the Easter Guys Finals, and we just got to feel it now. You know, we got to use this as motivation. Hopefully, we can come back next year and be better. Um, compete. Even harder, and uh, I talked too much. At the end of the day, the locker room, the locker room mood was not was not good. Obviously, uh, we love to win, and uh, we wasn't able to win. Giannis, you guys brought back a lot of core players this season. Just, I know it's it's still fresh for you guys, but what did it mean playing with this group, and and what did they mean to you all season long? Great group. Um, great players played, uh, you know, played their butt off all year long. You know, uh, great players, great human beings, man. Uh, it was it was uh, fun. It was fun coming to work every single day, having guys like Brooke, Drew, Joe, uh, Wes, Grace, and Pat, Chris, all of them, everybody, everybody. You know, um, and you know, lace lace your shoes. And go out there and compete with them. It was it was great. Uh, wasn't able to get it done, uh, but at the end of the day, um, my teammates, you know, I supported them no matter what. Uh, I hope they support me too. Um, if we had another game tomorrow or in two days, I go again with them. You know, it's, it doesn't it doesn't change. Uh, but uh, as I said, they were great players. But most important, the great human being. It was it was fun. Every every day we came in, it was fun. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.